Here's a media story told as a vertical slideshow based upon the movie The Matrix Reloaded. What we're doing is we're vamping on the theme of The Matrix, which is man versus machine. And what we're doing is we're, at, we're going to add interactivity to this story. And we're not just going to show you the technique of how to do that, but we're also going to show you why one would want to do that. You'll notice that one of the things going on here is that the slides have multiple stages of text in them. We call that a multi-stage being. So this is the basic story as it unfolds vertically. And now we're going to go into edit mode and we're going to show you how to add on new features. So you'll see at the bottom here, we have the choices of go into edit mode, create a new being, replay this being again, and see the list of all my beings. So I'll tap on the go into edit mode. I'm now going to add some text into this story to convert it from a one-way story into a two-way conversation. By adding text into these stories, it gives us the opportunity to frame the story and give the right context and, quote unquote, set the biblical proportions, while at the same time explaining what's going on in the story. Here's another one. All I have to do is drag these sentences up and place them in exactly the right position in the story script. By adding these sentences, we give the ability for the users to ask questions, to ponder and think about what's going on, and to convert this kind of passive story viewing into more engaging conversation. Here's another one. Hopefully you'll see that these sentences being added into a media slideshow really give the opportunity to create something new. Now let's go tap on play and try it out. So we go through the Tory and boom, Neo just threw down the staff. Ha! The word from Moses, oh, Passover, I get it. And we continue our story, and there's the humans, and we think, oh, that's interesting, Energizer Bunny. Ah, ha, 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 coffee, I get it. All right, so this is how turning a passive one-way story into a conversation looks. Now I'm going to go back up to edit mode and add some more. Okay, now we're going to show you something called a whitelist, which are specifically designed to complement the theme of your story. In this case, the man versus machine whitelist has items like Matrix or Zion or Neo, and each of those are associated with an image or text, which can then be triggered if the user types any of these keywords. Now we're going to insert this whitelist into the storyline, and now let's hit play and see what happens. So here the user is presented with an entry field so they could type and sure enough, get a response. But not everything has a response designed for it. So then we just go back to chewing through the story just like we did before. But notice that because Neo is mentioned, the story is now starting to really take on its own unique proportions.